trade of the day within the poultry sector is, Mr. Turan? Well, we're going to go with Astral. The reason being, this is a sector that's really come under heavy pressure, but this is a mid-cap stock that we like. It's got substantial businesses in animal feeds, the little chickens, as well as in the chicken distribution business, you know, the whole grown, fully fledged chicken. Uh, great CEO, good management team, good dividend yield. So it feels like it could be a pricing opportunity, although I must say my conviction here, Rob, is not inordinately high. Rob, you managed to strong <laughs> arm in the middle yeah. on the astral story. Why are you so high in your level of conviction here? Well, I think in the, in the, the first quarter of this year, they'll still battle quite a bit um, with getting to terms with the chicken and the pricing, but there is definitely going to be a reduction in maize pricing. There's more, there's more maize coming from, from the States. Um, and that drought that they had last year is definitely eased off. So we'll see some cost uh, pressures come off. Um, so I think that's you know, really positive for them. And uh, the dividend yield is still there. They haven't not cut that. And I think at these levels, it's worth taking a step. Sounds like a very convincing story. Yeah, and the demand for chicken remains very firm. We know this, you know, quite apart from the high profile KFC, Chicken Licken, Nando's, you know, Giramundo's, all the other chicken shops out there. There is enormous amount of volume of chicken sold through the low end market in the frozen individually pieced thing as well as you know i'm sure you buy the woolies chickens when you don't know what to cook at home so it's <laughs> don't a, take a, pot shots <laughs> at me on this it's show it's a friend. solid industry this if they can just somehow get past the terrible squeeze they find themselves in always now. remember i have the last word 